over to you, Carden. Right, the next one here, we have a pie chart, sort of, and it shows state revenue. So this thing here is showing where the money is coming from and you can clearly see okay i see this thing is not proportional look here it says three percent and it says three percent but these two don't look alike so to for you not to be misled just look at the percentages there if any questions are asked just look at the percentages but uh, we can clearly see that personal income tax is the highest and the lowest are these two excise duties and corporate income tax let's go to the questions okay and this one is for 2016-17 i've mentioned already that uh we we call it like this because you know a fiscal year runs from this year to the next the first of april to the 31st of march right <coughs> excuse me identify one form of an indirect tax in the information above all right so I, I i talked about indirect tax before like uh, a good one would be look here you are not going to buy to pay tax you are going there to to buy some fuel you know but as you do you are contributing to uh, tax so it's indirect what type of tax will contribute most uh, to state revenue during 2016-17 financial year uh, that would be personal income tax that's 34 percent it's more than anything you see there briefly describe the term budget so you see with the topic public sector you don't want to you know prepare for the exam and not know the definition for this term budget because for the third time we are defining the same term it's a document showing anticipated revenue and estimated expenditure. Again, you see those two words are always there. Give one reason why the government increased taxation, that is excise duties or demerit goods during the 2016-17 financial year. Actually, government does this almost every year. They always increase this excise duty and it's done to discourage the consumption of demerit goods. To discourage consumers not to buy, or consume this pro the, the product and um, the reason is because demerit goods are those goods that are deemed to be bad a good example is cigarettes another one is alcohol uh, you know when people are drunk they could affect the community in a negative way so we say demerit goods have a negative externality so because they have that negative externality um, then then government finds ways in which they can you know restrict consumption and uh so they do it by increasing excise duties right uh, to discourage producers from producing these items how will an increase in corporate income tax impact negatively on economic growth so what you need to do here is just try to think just try to use your common sense if government increases corporate income tax, how can that negatively affect economic growth? And, you know, we measure economic growth by we just simply look at GDP, actually real GDP. So it could reduce the amount that companies can put back into the business as investment, which will lead, which will limit expansion and reduce jobs. So if that happens, you will see that the, the GDP will be affected negatively. Reduce the amount of money that companies can use to become more efficient, which will reduce growth. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.